Hello, my name is Daniel and I'm gonna show you a cool way that you can take care of your granny when you are not around with AWS technology. So my grandma is 88 years old. She lives alone in a small village, really small village. A village that has free Wi-Fi coverage for all the population and she has reduced mobility and she can't really use a mobile phone or a smart device at all. She can use the landline phone, that's all she can do. Whenever she is in trouble, like for example she falls to the floor, she can really stand up back by herself. When she's at bed and she has problems, she really needs some help in order to get back from the bed. So I was thinking how can I build an easy and quick way for her to ask me for assistance. And that's where I came up with the, with the grandma emergency button. So we're gonna use a AWS IoT button. And the first thing that you have to do is to register the button in the AWS IoT platform. This is very easy and you can download a mobile app and to your smart device and do it in a couple of steps. But if you want to do it from scratch, you can, you can also check the documentation. The next thing that happens once the, the button is clicked is that a series of events are triggered on the AWS platform. So let me show you how this works. So first thing, you click your AWS IoT button and it will start flashing white just to let you know that the MQTT message is being sent to the AWS IoT platform. When the message has been successfully sent, the light will become green. Now, she's gonna call my grandma phone in order to see if the alarm activation was real or it was just a mistake. The alarm has been activated. Please press one to deactivate alarm. If she doesn't press anything or she doesn't pick up the phone, you did not press anything. Attention alarm, it's still active. Calling your relatives. The alarm is gonna be active and so they're gonna call my phone to alert me of the alarm situation. <sighs> All this cycle can be repeated until the alarm has been deactivated and all the data from these activations is going to be stored, enriched and later used to train a machine learning model. This model will try to predict when my grandma is going to press the button again so we can anticipate. Another use cases for the system are for example Alzheimer patients that can get lost and they can find their way back home, they can press the button to let the family know that they, they need assistance. Another use case, for example, is to prevent school bullying. When a kid at school is in a situation of danger or bullying, he can press the button to let the school know that something, a situation of bullying is going on. Also, it can be used as a personal alarm system. You can be at home, somebody breaks in, you just press the button and let the emergency, the police, or whoever knows that, that something is going wrong. And a final use case could be, for example, for special needs kids that have special needs. They don't, they don't find their way back home. They get in a difficult situation. They can always get in touch with their family just by clicking a button. No smart devices involved, no complex systems involved at all. The solution can be easily extended for, and customize it to your needs. For example, I'm working on a serverless GPS to track her position when she's in need for assistance. You can also build a, a personal home monitoring system. The possibilities are really endless. You can use your imagination and extend this solution to many other different things. So you have the code, so please go and try it.